Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a um, very realistic plastic with some scratchy and imperfection on the surface. So let's jump in. First of all create a new, uh, new create gray bridge, gray advanced material as, as usual in plastic. In the diffuse layer I assume a color of a red color for example, and activate the first specular layer. In this layer I'm going to decrease the reflection glossiness of about 0.6. Let's try this setting now. Present IOR, leave it in 1.6 and apply in the texture of the specular channel, the specular layer, my fingerprints texture okay and see what happens if I assign it to my sphere and test render Ok, as you can see the use of my texture uh, gives me some uh, good details on my shadow ball, on my plastic texture, uh, but I think I'm gonna to um, check my UV maps because it doesn't work very good. So, to do this, a little trick, I'm gonna to copy this texture on my diffuse channel to see it in my viewport and check it on my viewport ok, the texture are stretchy so I'm gonna to change my project projection to cubic or cylinder let's try some I think the best is spherical as you can see increasing the size of my shader I can obtain my uh, good uh, texture do, uh, after doing this I'm going to delete my texture from my diffuse layer and go to see what happened in my render okay good in this uh, test render I can see uh, some damage area of my shader that is bring look it's uh, look like more realistic and uh, a little bit dirt on on my shadow ball after doing this I'm going to apply to recreate the effect I wanted to, to create uh, a second sh uh, second layer of uh, reflection in my material to create a good look of my texture to do this I'm going to my shader and apply, activate my specular layer number 2 um, decrease the intensity with the Fresnel IOR of 1.3 and the reflection glossiness of about 0 0.9 and see what happens Ok, as you can see I create a top coat on my reflection 
And this is a very realistic plastic uh, of dirt plastic look. Uh, but I won't try, I wanna try uh, one last thing. I wanna add some uh, bump um, yeah, on my shader. So I'm going to, I'm gonna to duplicate my texture of perfection on the spectral color on my bump channel so I'm going to paste it here activate bump channel and let's try about 0.5 centimeter high on the highest of the amount of my bump and see what happens in render oh it's too heavy, heavy effect so I'm gonna to decrease it a bit in my shader setting so I stop it go into my shader and try about 0.05 centimeter to create a cool effect um, please note uh, this bump uh, value here of amount is uh, uh, linked with the sync size of your file uh, so it's uh, maybe in your file uh, with other sync size your amount of 0.05 will produce no bumps or two heavy bumps so uh, you must test uh, every time uh, the the amount of bump to create uh, the look you want in your shader. Okay, let's wait for the render and see what happens. Uh, can delete it to compare the for this the current render with the, the this render Okay, as you can see, I have uh, some bump effect on my shader that mix uh, for me is mixing very good the two layer of my reflection to create a very good effects in my in my render. As you can see, as I move from the past render to the current render. I have this plot, this scratchy area more uh, evinced and uh, more realistic for me. Okay, for this tutorial is uh, it's all, and I hope you enjoy it. And follow me on YouTube and my Instagram page. Uh, follow the ham on Instagram, please. Thank you so much. Bye.